Welcome to my messy desk and my messy life. A um, couple of things <laughs> have happened. Um, I okay. Today I have set up. I have. Um, oh God, where to start? <laughs> um, okay. This one you recognize if you've watched my other videos. Uh, I have cut it off, the first book from the others. So this was attached to this and it was just too thick. Too thick. I didn't like it. So this book contains May and June and is almost finished. So this is my week, this is today and I will sort of use it throughout the week and then um, I mean I'm hoping to do all the uh, all my mandatory tasks by Wednesday because then I will move into my July journal for my last two my final two days at work um, so it'll be like half starting my vacation by moving into this. I don't know. Uh, so, yes, this is all filled out. Well, almost. Um, and it will be retired. Okay. So, th this book only contains journaling and daily planning that is a thing of the past. So, what did I keep in the July book. Well, of course, my someday maybe section with the permanent information bit here. I have to find a better name for it. Is it is it a permanent section and a someday maybe section, perhaps? And they're in the same book. Yeah, why not? Long term planning at the back. At the front, I mean, this used to be my project section when I was still in that book. Um, but I think I will abandon, I mean, I have abandoned that division because I don't know, it mainly because three books are too much. It, it's too thick, even for me. Um, and also because, well, you'll see when we get to this book, which is the, um, I've set up the autumn's daily planning in this book. So stay tuned. Um, so this, this section will be my daily planning for July, which I won't do any planning because this is the calendar for July. Nothing happens which is exactly how I like it. But I have a few projects, a family get together to plan and cabin stuff and yeah. So I don't know, maybe I will rip out these two signatures, two signatures here that are unused. I may pull out one and use for health tracking like long term and put it on an elastic because I've put four elastics here between the two books and the other one I might uh, hang on an elastic as well and have planner plans in so because I don't want to waste these pages but I also don't want to stay in this book in the autumn when I go back to work because I want to I want to have a fresh start and all that. So yeah, what I've done, um, as I said, I I cut this off, which used to be in the front. So what remains are two Loish terms, and in the middle, on one of these elastics, I have put an insert from a journal I've made. So this is for journaling. And I will, it's just one, one insert, one sort of signature. And when that is all filled out, I will 
retire it, archive it in in this book where it comes from. This is the elastic for it in here. And switch to the next one. Um, this one. So this will be in my next journaling section that I put in the middle here on an elastic. So as you can see, I am using this as a traveler's notebook. It's just that I have two proper sturdy books with a sort of spine. It's just gaffer tape, but it works as a spine. It's so durable and yeah, you know, so, so these are the books. Someday maybe in permanent info and daily planning and project spreads and journaling in the middle. And I have room for two more inserts here if I want to, like for example, as I said, the planner plans and the health insert. I also pulled out my world building um, signature and put it on an elastic here because uh, it's more long term than the daily planning and I want it gathered in one place. So um, that's why. Yes, so uh, I'll use this book in July and when autumn comes, when August comes, because August is kind of autumn here, I will remove this first book mm, and these, I mean the journaling inserts will be switched out whenever needed, but oops. <laughs> Um, I will cut off this first book and put this one in the front instead. So this book will just be July. And I might actually glue it onto May and June when I'm done with it. You know, just cut this up and glue it into, you know, onto the back and then put the back cover on again. Um, yeah, I'm really losing my respect for notebooks. I used to be so afraid of the empty page, but now it's almost the opposite. I love destroying them. So anyway, and mainly because, oops, um, because I do want to use the traveler's notebook idea of switching out inserts, but I don't like the actual Travels notebooks. I don't like writing in them. I can um, archive things on strings, but writing, I, mm, I don't really like it. But I will, I mean, I will be using strings for the journaling uh, part, but not for my planning because I really enjoy being in a sturdy actual book for that. Oh, this is so rambly. Uh, anyway, so this will be at the front come August instead of this. And I will show you what I've done. I've actually set up the whole autumn plus January and February. So, <laughs> i.e. I'm hoping this book will last me for six months. As usual, pocket in the front for my ruler. And I've made all the booklets, all the calendar pages. I um, don't know if you can see. Uh, I've cut Dutch doors all through the book for my weeklies. So I have August and all my weeklies not filled in. Uh, weeklies and next action spreads within the booklet. Calendar here, trackers here. Um, I have my work project spreads here. And then I have a few pages for home projects. I've counted out 10 pages for that. Um, and if I need more, I will just go 
to the next, you know, after September, because September follows these project spreads. Um, booklet again. And then I've counted out 10 pages here as well. So if I run out of pages in August for my home projects, I will just go here and use them up. Um, October, same thing. Weeklies and next actions. 10 pages of random stuff, scribbling. November. Dutch doors, because I, I've noticed that I, I like this setup and I'm going to continue using it. It's just, it's so, I, I, I like having everything gathered like this and knowing that this is my month, you know, within these covers, I have everything I need. And then if I need to scribble random stuff, I can do that on the following pages. So I have, January as a booklet. I don't have February as a booklet, only I only have the calendar spread because there are things I will need to put in the calendar <laughs> calendar before I switch to my spring journal. Um, and basic tip when you have things that you well that you have to put on the calendar but you haven't drawn the spread yet or you don't have the planner for that time period just put post-its on the final month that you have like here i'm i've put something that happens in may next year um so you you're reminded when you're here and you're probably switching books so you can uh, migrate it to the actual calendar. Yeah. Um, I should say something about the actual book. If I could find... I can never find anything. Um, I bought this um, at a reduced price. Probably because people don't like the colour, because I don't like the colour. It's sort of coral. And also because it's not lined and not dotted. And I didn't know that the paper is much more see-through. Uh, so I won't be buying that again. Uh, but it will have to do um, for the autumn. I can live with it. But it's, I mean, if you can have better paper at the same price, why wouldn't you? Um, so what I did, since I don't like the colour, I painted it with acrylics and I stuck to leaves, uh, birch leaves on the front. I was going to just, you know, uh, press them into the um, colour and make an impression, but then I thought, mm, I don't know, maybe keep it like this and seal it with some kind of varnish or something. So, yeah. So this is supposed to look vaguely autumn-like, with you know, autumn colours and gold and... Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to using this and I've set up everything here. Um, very... in a very structured way and everything is like... I have... I've used today to get a feel for the autumn. Just migrating everything, um, setting everything up, and um, yeah, it feels good. It feels good to go on vacation when you know that everything is ready and waiting for you when you come back. back.